Hey guys, what's up? It's Fletch here, and today I'm going to be walking you through how to set up a dedicated server for Unreal Engine 5.1, the latest version. I'm making this video simply, really, because I wish someone made it for me when I was trying to figure this all out. And so I guess hopefully this can be a helpful guide to you guys when you're setting up your game's servers um, through Unreal. Okay, so the first step is to download the Unreal Engine source code version of the engine. Um, and you can get this from the Epic Games GitHub. So you go to Epic Games GitHub and then you go to the Unreal Engine GitHub. So and then from there you go to whatever branch you want. I'm going to the release branch, that's the latest version, and then I'm downloading it as a zip. You can download it through GitHub or however method you want, but as long as you get it and um, you can access the files, that's all that matters. See, and then from there you want to extract out the folders files into a directory you want to store the engine. I'm just doing it where the other Epic Games stuff is, like previous versions and stuff like that. Once you've done that, you want to go ahead and find the setup bat file. Uh, you want to run that, that will take a little bit. And then after that, you want to find the generate project files bat file. And you want to run that and that'll probably take even longer and so i've already previously done this so i don't need to do it again but after you've run that generate project files bat then the visual studio file solution will show up and you just want to double click on that and open that up also once your solutions open in visual studio you want to go down and change your um, build method from debug to development editor and you want to make sure you're on Win64, and then you can build that out. So once these have built out, you can uh, right click on the main part of your solution, and then go debug and start new instance, as you can see here, and that'll open up Unreal Engine. And once you're in here, you can choose your project that you're working on. Uh, I've chosen to convert in place, as I've already made a copy of this, just in case anything goes wrong. So yeah, you want to make sure you do make a copy because you never know what can happen with Unreal. So back in the um, source folder, you can actually open your folder in the Explorer and you can see that you actually only have the target.cs. What you need is actually the server target.cs as well. So you want to copy and paste that. And then from the Unreal Engine website, you want to get this piece of code and put that into your new server.cs. Um, and that'll allow you to build out in both you know, your client build and your server build. So it's after that you want to build out as the editor and as the server. And then what you'll find is in the folder where your engine's located in the binary section, under Win64 is your uh, server application. And obviously there's more to set up. Um, for instance, the joining and hosting of the sessions. I've done this with the Steam Advanced Sessions plugin and I can do a tutorial on this stuff but I'll probably only do that if there's really enough of a demand as it is the easiest the easier part of setting up a dedicated server but yeah I'll still make one if there's enough demand so yeah okay so this part is a little extra bit I wanted to add because it although it's a little complicated it's very uh, helpful as it allows you to test your dedicated server without actually having to build it out um, extremely helpful for when you want to test your game because it actually means you don't need to build anything at all so basically the way you want to do this is by finding the Unreal Editor application and then creating a shortcut for it um, so your Unreal Engine Editor application so it's found in where you place the engine or where the engine is located so for instance it's where I placed it earlier in the Epic Games folder so then you go into Unreal Engine and then into the engine and into the binaries 164 and then you've got your editor here and you can basically right click um, and then create a shortcut there and then you can move that into wherever you like really but I like to put it into my uh, projects folder root, root folder basically and then from there you want to make sure your target is 
where you basically got the shortcut from, and it already should be. So the target is Unreal Engine, Engine, sorry, there's two here, that's why it's a bit hard to read. I'll just, yeah, so you wanna make sure you're using unrealeditor.exe as your first part of the target. So that's coming from the Epic Games Unreal Engine folder, engine binaries 164 unrealeditor.exe, and then you wanna insert another target inside that, which is your actual U project file. So in my case, it is Project Lizard 5.1, and then project lizard.u project, which is actually right there. And a little extra thing I like to do at the end is put dash log and then dash server afterwards. And what that'll allow you to do is actually see the server in real time in command prompt. And you also want to make sure your start in is the location where the Unreal Editor is. So it, it's very complicated, but if you can, basically the steps are find where your Unreal Editor is located, right click, make a shortcut, pull that shortcut into your projects folder, have two targets. The first part is the Unreal Editor target, and then after the first set of quotation marks, your U uh, project. And basically what that will do is start the Unreal Engine in the server configuration with that dash server at the end with your project in mind. Um, and I can actually show that here. So this is, the, this is the shortcut here. So you just double click on it. And now we can actually see the server and all its information setting up um, right in front of you. And this is very helpful for seeing uh, errors that are occurring in your game as a whole but specifically with the server end. Awesome, now I'm in my game that I'm currently making, uh, work in progress by the way, <laughs> um, and if I just click the refresh button here then the server will pop up and we can go ahead and join it. Sweet, now I'm in the server, um, here's my little guy in there, and as I was mentioning before the command prompt version of this is a very great way of printing data, debugging, stuff like that. Because as you can see here, it's I've showed setting up player controller, and then here's all the some of the SQL stuff I've done to load players data, stuff like that. And even you can see the Steam data here. Um, yeah, a lot of helpful stuff, some errors here, warnings. So yeah, that's basically it. Um, that's how, that's the fundamentals of setting up a server in Unreal, a dedicated one, um, and how you can make it easier to test it without having to build out every time. Ideally, you'd want to build out in the end, obviously, um, as it will run better and stuff, but it's a very helpful way of testing your game and the server. So yeah, that's all for today, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.